friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena if you guys are new here and today we're going to be doing a recap of the mug party that I threw over the weekend. It was so much fun so I kind of thought it would be good to give you guys like how I planned it, the supplies, where I got everything from. So before I do that I just want to play the clips that I have from everything, the prep to the setup to the random like check-ins that I did and then we'll go through and just chat about it. So let's go. So I want to give you guys some like background, like behind the scenes prep for this mug party that I am hosting. I guess I don't know, I should set you guys down somewhere, but I just got back from shop, right? I got some whipped cream, I got some chocolate chip cookies. I finally found coffee stirrers. That's been like, the big thing, I haven't been able to find them. So I found them, but we have like enough for the next like three months. And then I got these silver plastic spoons versus the white ones. The white ones just weren't aesthetic. And then I couldn't find just a thing of chocolate chip cookies. So I got these, there's eight in here. And then there's eight in this one. So I figured that's fine. Cause we have like three or four other things of cookies. And what else, what else did I get? Okay, <laughs> uh, my brother had friends over last night and I just found another chips, the bag of chips in my party mix. Very good, very good. Let me sit you guys down somewhere. I don't know, I don't know where to put you guys. Oh, we have, we're decorated for Christmas. So we have the stockings up there, Christmas tree you guys have seen already. And my poor dog is shaking because he thinks this thing is gonna beat, but it's not. Let me find a place to put you guys and then we'll go through a little like behind the scenes haul. I don't feel like going to get my tripod. So we're just gonna go through this. So I have like to go cups if anybody wants to take home snacks. Um, Jake's chips, they're lentil chips in case anybody was really wondering. I have these, we have some candy, Milano cookies. Underneath here, there's peppermint stirrers, like white chocolate covered pretzels, more peppermint stuff, Oreos somewhere in there, holiday trail mix. What else? Some mugs, mason jars that I have to start filling with stuff. And this is the stuff I got this morning. I was holding these like this, so don't mind the display. But we have all different kinds of cookies in there and I couldn't find a little thing of chocolate chip cookies like I said before, so I got these and these so i guess some of this stuff i could start setting up but some of it needs to wait till later i don't know if i should even do it now i think i'm gonna wait for my mom to get back because she's good at like displaying things oh and then we're making like not like a charcuterie board but like dessert charcuterie i guess or like a winter charcuterie with all snacks and stuff so i'm excited for that also i guess i'm just gonna leave this stuff actually because i'm gonna wait for her to get back and then I'll take you guys through a time lapse or just us setting that up later when she's here. But yeah, a lot of prep to go into hosting a party. I haven't hosted one in a while, so I'm excited. I'm also nervous. Hopefully it goes well, it should, but you guys will see that later. crazy day. We're waiting for people to get here because the party starts in a little bit and I am so excited everything came out so good. So yeah, let's just go party.
new cup, by the way, since we're doing like a little holiday party moment. I thought this cup screamed holiday party, so that's my new coffee cup. But I digress, this video is not about coffee. So that was the party in a nutshell. So let's just go over some tips that I have for you guys if you're looking to throw a party or just are curious about the back end of things when throwing a party. So the very first thing I recommend you do is have a plan. Either have a theme for the party or have like an outline of activities that you want to do if you want it more structured like my party was very loose i didn't plan like any games i didn't say like oh we had to do this 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 and that i just said okay like bring a mug my party was i call it a mug party i think that's a technical term for it basically you just have everybody bring a mug and then it's kind of like a coffee house type of thing so you could do hot chocolate you could do coffee you could do tea we had all three we set up the kitchen so it was kind of like a little coffee house. We had everybody bring a mug, like I said, and then we had other just like random mugs too in case somebody forgot one. So that's my first tip is to have a plan. You don't want to just say, okay, everybody come over and then you don't know what to do. Another thing that you have to plan is food. Like, are you going to be serving food? Is it gonna be dinner? Is it gonna be dessert? Is it gonna be snacks? I set the start time for this party to be 7.30. So that way everybody knew that it was after dinner and I supplied the dessert, snacks, trail mix. There was a whole bunch of different things that I supplied. That way it was just easy and I got things that I knew everybody would like. So nobody was expecting like a four course meal, dinner type of thing. So my second tip for you guys would be to have a budget. You don't want to go into this just spending like so much money on a party unless you want to have like a big extravagant party. I highly, highly, highly suggest that you have a budget for this party and you stay within that because things could get expensive and you don't want to like over buy and then you're stuck with a lot of leftovers. I know I don't like being stuck with a lot of leftovers. We do have some leftover like candies and things like that. I think maybe some cookies too, but you don't want to be stuck with a lot, a lot of leftovers. And you also want to know your group. So I guess this is like tip number three, but also two with like not overbuying know who's coming know the like demographic of who's coming because if your friend group is not one to really like pick at food or snack or like have desserts then maybe don't buy a lot of food maybe go a different route with your party if your friend group is one that would snack and would eat if the food was there then yeah buy you know little bits of different things and then you guys can all enjoy the food together so those are kind of like tips two and three to have a budget to plan Although I just said those in reverse. So you wanna plan, you wanna have a budget, and you want to know your group that's coming. And my last tip for you guys is just to have fun with it. So once you find a theme, you can find inspiration from Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, although Pinterest is probably my number one go-to. And you just scroll and you look up like Christmas party, or if you're doing like a white elephant or a gift exchange, you could do that. I looked up Christmas charcuterie board, which is what I ended up making as like the main thing with all the snacks on it and just have fun with it. And your group will come and everybody will just chit chat and have a good time. And hopefully it turns out the way you want it to. I know that mine was a huge, huge, big hit. People said how much fun they had and that just really like kind of drove it home. All the goals that I had for it were met and it was just a really great time. So I hope this helped you guys with planning. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I got most of my stuff, if not all of everything that you guys saw from Target. They had a whole winter Christmas dessert section. They had everything from candies to coffee stirrers to gingerbread houses to snacks and just anything. Like it was literally built for somebody to throw a Christmas party. I would definitely go somewhere that you know you're not gonna break the bank and I wouldn't run all over town trying to get stuff. I knew Target had everything, so I just made do with what they had and it had such a variety. So hopefully the Target near you has that and if you're gonna throw a party, highly recommend going to Target to get all your stuff. And then you could just fill any odds and ends from like the supermarket, the bakery, you know, wherever. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss a video with me. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.